Eden. We need to talk. So I hear. What have you heard? Nothing that makes sense. Last night you told me the truth. Let's continue with that. So, I worked for hours last night, and I couldn't even catch one fish the entire night. And then Andrew and the boys showed up. Thank you for that, by the way. And none of us could catch one fish the entire night. It was horrible. And this morning, we finally gave up, and we went to shore. But there was this teacher on shore. And Andrew knew who he was, but I'll talk about that later. He told me to cast one more time which made no sense, but I did it anyway because of the way he, he looked at me. And then so many fish showed up. They were pouring into the boat. So many kept coming that, that Zebedee ended up filling both of our boats, enough to pay off the whole debt. I, uh, what? I know. Why don't you seem happy? Well, this is hard to explain more than what you just told me. No, it's like the story of Elijah and Elisha. Yes? Elisha was plying with 12 yoke of oxen when Elijah the prophet just walked up and threw his cloak over him. I, I call him to follow him. And without delay, Elisha slaughtered the oxen, burned the plow, and left everything behind. Yes. The, the teacher, uh, Andrew told me, but I didn't believe him at first. He's the Messiah. I know it sounds impossible, but I, I saw it with my own eyes. He made boatfuls of fish appear out of nowhere. And the words he spoke, the one John told Andrew was the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, it was him. And then, and then he called me to follow him. And Andrew, James, and John to go where he goes and, and to learn from him. And he said that I wouldn't be a fisherman anymore, but that I would catch people instead. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure what I saw. He's the one we've been waiting for all our lives. And I want to quit fishing and leave the sea behind to go. I know, I know, I know it makes no sense and I knew it would make you upset. All I can tell you is that this I'm is... Upset. Oh, why would I be upset? Come here. Come here. Come here. This is the man. Couldn't make this up. <laughs> of course, he chose you. I don't know why he did. I tried to tell him I'm a sinful man. Everyone is sinful. I don't know what this means. I don't know yet how I'm going to provide. I don't care about that. Then why are you crying? Because someone finally sees. What I have always seen. You're more than a fisherman. You know, I, I will travel sometimes. I don't want you to feel abandoned. You have to go with him. How could I feel abandoned? I feel saved. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. When have we ever had anything easy? It's not our people's way. <laughs> oh. So, are you going to help me? I actually could watch you do that all day. Wash your feet. Oh, we leave for Cana today. What's in Cana? A wedding. What does the wedding have to do with the liberation of Israel? I'm about to find out. Come on. Don't you think our wedding was a kind of liberation? From your fear that I would be bald. Oh, my father is nearly blind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how cold it was? No. 
Remember Andrew's toast? Remember the rabbi lost his place? No. What? He made everyone stand up and please be seated. Twice in a row, you don't remember? What I will remember for the rest of my life is lifting your veil. I'd fight tigers for that memory. You'd fight tigers? Well. Unless it was as cold as our wedding day right before the sun came up and you got tangled in my chupa. <laughs> I you do remember. <laughs> hey, it's Dallas and the creator of The Chosen. And yes, season one of The Chosen is complete. All eight episodes, they're available right now. You can look up The Chosen in the App Store or Google Play and we're easy to find, you can download it and be watching within minutes. And in fact, it's unprecedented technology. You can connect to almost any device you have directly and you don't even need a subscription. So I hope you'll check out season one of The Chosen right now.